Hello, it's Ben here from the History Power Channel again. I'm here with another reaction video um, to one of my favourite comedies. Um, it's the Dr. Johnson, Dr. Johnson episode from um, Blackadder 3, um, in which um, Dr. Johnson, who first writes the dictionary, comes to have its approval from the Prince Regent and hopes he gives him extra publicity and that sort of thing. And um, Blackadder comes in as the um, servant of the Prince Regent and tries to baffle the Doctor and try and humi humiliate him a bit. <clears throat> um, the Hugh Laurie, uh, Hugh Laurie plays the Prince Regent character is a bit dim-witted and not the brightest of fellows and um dr johnson is played by robbie coltrane who you might know from uh, the harry potter films he plays um hagrid in those films and then obviously you've got um everyone's favorite um rowan atkinson who plays the prince regent's butler but it's one of my favorite episodes of the series um it will involves books and obviously you've got Blackadder trying to make fun of Dr. Johnson with all with all the um long words. So hopefully you'll all enjoy it. Um just as a side issue if you want me to do any film uh, any reaction videos to any comedies or films or documentaries that are hopefully historically historically based and please feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments down below this video. So um, I probably won't do do much much stopping of the video, but because I really enjoy it, and hopefully you'll enjoy the video too. So let's get going. Enter, Doctor Johnson. Ah, Doctor Johnson. Damn cold day. Indeed it is, sir, but a very fine one. For I celebrated last night the encyclopedic implementation of my premeditated orchestration of demotic Anglo Saxon. No, <laughs> <laughs> didn't catch any of that. <laughs> but I simply observed, sir, that I'm felicitous. Since during the course of the penultimate solar sojourn, I terminated my uninterrupted categorization of the vocabulary of our post Norman tongue. <laughs> What you're talking about, and it's how damn saucy you lucky thing. I know some fairly liberal minded girls, but I've never penultimated any of them in a sort of sojourn. I haven't been given any Norman tongue. I believe, sir, that the doctor is trying to tell you that he is happy because he has finished his book. It has apparently taken him ten years. Yes, well, I'm a slow reader myself. <laughs> cornerstone of English scholarship. This book, sir, contains every word in our beloved language. Ooh. Every single one, sir. Every single word, sir. And Here we in go. In that case, sir, I hope you will not object if I also offer the doctor my most enthusiastic contrafibularities. <laughs> contrafibularities, sir? It is a common word down our way. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm anaspeptic. Prasmotic. <laughs> Even compunctuous to have caused you such pericombobulation. <laughs> what do you want about that? This is all beginning to sound a bit like Dago talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I merely wished to congratulate the doctor on not having left out a single word. Shall I fetch the tea, your hand? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? Certainly, sir. I shall return interfrastically. <laughs> Sit you down. Now, this book of yours. Tell me, what's it all about? It is a book about the English language, sir. I see. And the hero's name is what? There is no hero, sir. No hero? Well, lucky I reminded you. Better put one in, pronto. Um, call him George. George is a good name for a hero. Uh, now, what about heroines? There is no heroine, sir, unless it is our mother tongue. The mother's the heroine. Nice twist. So, how far have we got then? Old Mother Tongue is in love with George, the hero. Now, what about murders? Mother Tongue doesn't get murdered, does she? No, she doesn't. No one gets murdered, or married, or in a tricky situation over a pound note. Well, now, look, Dr. Johnson, I may be as thick as a whale omelette, but even I know the book's got to have a plot. Not this one, sir. It is a book that tells you what English words mean. I know what English words mean. I speak English. You must be a bit of a thicko. Perhaps you would 
rather not be patron of my book if you can see no value in it whatsoever, sir. Well, perhaps so, sir. As it sounds to me as if my being patron of this complete cowpat of a book will set the seal <laughs> once and for all on my reputation as an utter turnip head. <laughs> well, it is a reputation well deserved, sir. Farewell. Leaving already, Doctor? <laughs> not staying for your pendigestatory interlude. <laughs> I can do to facilitate your velocitous exterioralization. You will regret this doubly, sir. <laughs> Not only have you impeculiated uh, my dictionary, but you have also lost the chance to act as patron to the only book in the world that is even better. Oh, and what is that, sir? Dictionary 2? <laughs> the return of the killer dictionary. Enter! <laughs> Oh, I just think that it's one of my favourite episodes and I just love all the all the long words as he's trying to make fun of the um, Dr. Johnson character. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I tried to find, uh, show that clip because it was a connection with books and comedy and that sort of thing. It's kind of what I like. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I shall probably see you tomorrow with another video. So um, I shall see you then. And thank you very much for watching.